Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing the laptop screen on an MSI gaming laptop. As you can see that the screen is shattered, pixelated, and all these fuzzy lines running across the screen. And it is because there was an impact point right here in the middle of the screen. So therefore, we need to change it up. All right, let me identify the model here. If you have this MSI computer, the model is GL639SDK. Let's go ahead and turn off the computer. I'll be pressing down the power button, press and hold until the computer shuts off. All right, once the computer is turned off, the next step is to go ahead, get yourself a metal prying tool. We need to pry open the bezel. So remove the bezel, therefore we can get to the screen. If you have the metal prying tool, it's a lot easier. Uh, the reason is because they do use double-sided adhesive tape. They're kind of taping down the screen um, with the bezel together. So you need to have this little metal piece to kind of cut through that adhesive tape. Okay, once you have reached the point by removing the uh, entire bezel, some of the tape from the screen came off and it kind of stick onto the, uh, the bezel here. What you can do is just peel it off like such because we do not need that to be here. We want to reuse that double sided tape. Whatever tape is left on the bezel, we are going to reuse that to re tape. Uh, back on afterwards okay so once you have removed the bezel the next step is to go ahead get yourself a phillips screwdriver it's going to be a screwdriver here remove the screw one at the bottom left corner bottom right so this is one two three and four Once you have removed all the screws, go ahead and tilt the screen towards your body. But before you do that, there's a little tape right here. The tape is taping down the screen, so go ahead and peel the tape off. Be very careful with the tape because it is still taping down the, uh, the webcam cable right there. So do not yank the tape and damage the webcam. All right, so once it's done, tilt the screen towards yourself. There's this tape right here. I'm gonna peel the tape back, exposing the cable and slide the cable away from you. Now remember, I did not turn off the, uh, did not remove the battery on the laptop. It is recommended to do that, but for me, I'll just jump straight into it. So be very careful when you remove that, do not use any metal connection to touch the screen. Therefore you get a shock and might damage the motherboard. So always use a plastic to avoid from electrocuted or um, shock to the computer. Okay, so now we need to look for the screen. Take a look at the screen here. It says LP156WFC. SPP1. I'll link it down in the description below. If you're interested uh, to know where to buy the screen from, check the link down in the description below. You can either get it from Amazon or eBay. 
and um, hopefully that helps so let me go see if I have extra uh, screen for this I have something similar to that hopefully it's a compatible version let's take a look here to install you just have to do the reverse process making sure you slide the cable back in and put a tape on just tape it down a little bit and flip the screen back up and let's turn it on and see if there's any display on it there you go I do have a nice display here Since the computer is booting up, the next step is to go ahead and put the screws back together. It's doing its Windows updates. Okay, the next step, I'll be installing the bezel. Just put them back together. And at this point here, what I like to do is to push my hand against the back. As I push the bezel, when it clicks together, it doesn't put a lot of pressure onto the screen. So always have a support in the back using both hands okay like such to press the bezel back together all right there you go I have the full screen install and a good display and there you have it so go ahead check the link down in the description below I'll link it where you can buy the replacement screen from Amazon or eBay and um, if you find this video is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button for me and if you want to show appreciation uh, please share your gratitude using youtube super thanks youtube super thanks allow you to share your gratitude support my work and also support my channel do not forget to check out my website other than that i wish you all the best in the screen replacement until next time bye now